My name is Michelle Hiltz and I am the program leader for the Humane Trapping Program here at the Alberta Research Council near Edmonton, Alberta. The Humane Trapping Program was set up by the Fur Institute of Canada in 1985 with the goal to test traps against the Agreement on International Humane Trapping Standards and to develop new technologies for testing traps. I believe it was in 1997 that the Agreement on International Humane Trapping Standards was actually ratified and it's a trilateral agreement between Canada, the European Union and Russia that looks at having a standard level both killing and restraining traps. The way we usually begin with the testing is um, a trap manufacturer would send us a trap and say, you know, I want this trap to evaluate, be evaluated against the international standard. And um, so we would start by um, taking detailed measurements of all the components on the trap. And then we would do a mechanical, a full mechanical evaluation of that trap. So that would involve, you know, looking at the clamping forces on that trap, the momentum on the trap, looking at the velocity of the trap, um, the mass of the trap. And obviously certain trap types are designed for some species while others are designed for other species. So the first thing we do is we do this full mechanical evaluation and that's done um, on a set of five traps to ensure that there's some kind of consistent quality across traps. And then that information is the first step for evaluating the quality and humaneness of that device. Then there are two approaches to actually evaluating the trap against the international standard. One is to actually test the trap on live animals in a simulated natural environment in the compound. And then the other approach is to take the mechanical data that we collect on the trap and run it through a computer simulation model to evaluate the trap against the international standard. Canada is definitely a world leader when it comes to trapping research. The, both the techniques that we use and our experience with trap testing and the research program is probably at the top. I believe every country in the world traps animals for some reason or purpose. I mean, there are a number of countries in the, in the European Union where like hundreds of thousands of muskrats are trapped every year. It is something that is happening and will continue to happen. My thought is, is that the research we're doing is very important and we're doing it so that the traps that are used um, are the most humane available. Trapping is going to happen um, and it will continue to happen because there's always going to be issues where trapping is required so we just want to make sure that the trapping that is done is done with the most uh, humane devices possible. <laughs>